Welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. And today we have got a little bit of something different. It's a National Geographic Channel documentary series. Uh, it's a, it's a, okay, it's a reality sh sh TV kind of thing. Uh, but it's set in the Yukon in Canada. Uh, cold as anything and lots and lots of wild animals. Dr. Oakley, Yukon vet, is there to take care of him. So, uh, basically it's a six season so far, I guess. I'm not sure if it's continuing after that. They're short seasons. They're about, uh, the first one's six episodes and the second one's ten and the rest are eight. So it, it evens out to an average of eight episodes per season. And, uh, basically you get to follow Michelle, U uh, Michelle Oakley, uh, around, uh, some of the more desolate, but honestly gorgeous Yukon territory, uh, up in Canada get to see uh, a number of wild animals, some domesticated as well, uh, as she takes care of them in her veterinary office that's uh, attached part of her home, attached to her home, uh, but she also goes out and calls. And uh, if you're into, you know, you're an animal lover and uh, you're not squeamish at all about uh, some of the more you know, medical procedures on, on animals, uh, yeah, this, this is the kind of thing to, to, to watch. It's it was, it was fascinating, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous scenery, uh, wonderful animals, uh, and the Michelle and her family uh, are featured in it uh, as well. Not just her going out in calls, but her family as well. You got, she's got a cute family who uh, who's just uh, each get their own little tiny spotlight here and there. But I watched the pilot and I actually watched the final episode of season six. So I kind of bracketed, you know, to see you know, how, if, if anything had changed between those two episodes. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, even just in the first episode, uh, was, and since the pilot, uh, it tends to have a lot of stuff in it just to give, uh, people who are going to pick up on this thing, uh, when they pitch it, um, to, uh, see what, uh, as many possibilities as possible to see if it's worthwhile, uh, uh, picking up and if it's entertaining to people. So, uh, it's definitely entertaining. It's uh, got, uh, just in the first episode, she neuters a dog and she uh, handles some, I think some yaks. I'm not sure. There was just so much going on. Um, trying to think what else she did. I'm totally unprepared for this because I'm, <laughs> I'm doing this a little earlier in the day than I, than I thought. I just sort of figured I'd knock this out uh, over lunch. And oh yeah, by the way, don't eat lunch when you're watching this, if you're a little bit squeamish. Uh, oh, uh, she, uh, the very first thing she did was take care of some, some huskies, uh, some sled dogs, and, uh, she had to give them their vaccinations, 26 of them at one time. Uh, a woman from Switzerland, I believe, uh, came over to the Yukon about 18 years ago and decided to just set up a, a farm. She lives off the grid. She has her own power. She has her own water. Uh, she doesn't get it from any, you know, central source uh when it gets 40 below out there uh again it might be celsius to them i don't know i don't know if it's 40 below fahrenheit or celsius when she said it but it's gonna get cold i get cold no matter what and she's on her own and she just takes care of about 26 well no, actually 40 dogs uh all at once and uh and she takes them out on tours now this is not michelle the right the one right there that's uh, the woman who has all the huskies uh she gives uh dog sled tours well, Michelle, right there, is in charge of coming by every so often and giving them vaccinations and making sure their their well being is you know up to up to par. And uh, in the first episode, so she gives uh, she wrestles a number of them into getting vaccinations all at once. They're very excitable dogs, but you learn a little bit about huskies and their two layers of fur and everything else that keeps them warm. And uh, so it's, yeah, it's a it's you get to learn a little bit of something because obviously it's National Geographic Channel. It's educational. But it's fun. Um, she also hit a return to, well, the woman with many dogs, the Huskies, actually brought one in later in the episode because he decided to play with a porcupine. And that's one of the things I just could not look at the TV during because his face is just filled with porcupine needles. And by the time they finished pulling everything out, there was about 300 of them. And if they had broken off or gotten too far in, it could have caused all sorts of problems. So this is the kind of adventures she has to, to face on a regular basis. The, uh, on the very last episode, the second episode I watched, um, 
No, they're, by the way, they're, they're each about 45, 43 to 45 minutes long each. So it's a regular, you know, it's part of the National Geographic channel. So this is the same shows, the same episodes you get on that channel, just without commercials on Disney+. Plus. So in the final episode that I saw, the last one of season six, uh, she had to deal with some musk oxes. And I got to see something I never really wanted to see, as a man especially. I got to see her uh, castrating two musk oxen and because they can't tend to get surly when they get old and they tend to start breeding with anything that they can and uh sometimes within the family and that causes sometimes birth defects and things like that um <laughs> they they preface seeing those big musk ox oxen with a little baby one we get to see that one he gets his little check and it's it's cute uh but yeah he's the the bigger ones they get they're they're big they're ornery and uh they she has to actually stab them with a needle from a distance on a with a rigid metal pole quickly in order to take them down and eventually they just conk out and he, they fall over and she brought her two oldest daughters she has three daughters she brought her two oldest daughters along with this and you know I, six years into it they're they're part very much part of the show they're not just surly teenagers hanging around doing whatever they can you know in, in the background they're actually helping out in this case and you get to see her lop off both balls get her see us cut open the scrotum and and just making jokes as she neuters a musk ox uh yeah it's it's i was glad i was done with lunch by that point so uh <laughs> So yeah, that, it's not always an easy watch, but it's always very interesting. Uh, some of the other animals she dealt with uh, had owl with a broken wing uh, that pretty much had to be amputated and had to... Uh, uh, she deals with a number of birds, including uh, a, a nighthawk or night... Yeah, nighthawk. Um, some, I think, yeah. It's a, there's a little bird that uh, had some problems also with their wing. And uh, also bald eagles who uh, may have had broken legs and she had to basically they had to capture them and well they had they had been hurt because their their nest had fallen and uh, they were able to collect them and keep them in a cage kind of area where they were able to still fly as they needed to but still within a certain range and uh, they were able to bring them into the doctor and x-ray them and find out if they had broken legs or not if they could ever be free again so there's a there's a she they they start some of the episodes off with that kind of thing then they they go off to a different story a different animal and they often come back and you, you see the rest of the story. So it, it's structured pretty well. So it's a, it makes it for a, an interesting watch. Uh, I'm sure there's more animals that I've forgotten. The, the, like I said, the first episode had so many. Oh yeah, there's the, the first one also had a cow that the owner was hoping was pregnant named Raspberry. And so she had to go in there shoulder deep to... Uh, reach in there and find out if she was pregnant or not so yay there's always that and they do not blur out any of that stuff so yeah if you got the stomach for it go for it check it out uh that's uh dr oakley yukon vet on disney plus it's part of the net net geo uh collection of uh series so uh now's the time to pick the next episode let's go all right Let's generate, there's 140, yesterday's number. 629, ooh, one of the higher level ones. 629 might still be in the thes, or beyond the t's, who knows. I know the 500s are mostly the, the t's. I said 629, right? Yes, oh, we got another, looks like a series, it's red. I, I thought yesterday was just a documentary, but it's a uh, red, I think, is series. We'll see. But anyway, 629 is the living desert. So I'm guessing that going from, we're going to go from the harsh, cold wilderness of the Yukon, and we're going to see what's uh, taking place in the living desert now. So we haven't had uh, a lot of these in the past, so but here's our chance to, here's our chance to, uh, two in a row to check it out so uh we'll see you back here tomorrow with the living desert on disney plus see you then